produce to the market and the prices that farmers actually receive when they sell their produce. But how will you work with your farmers, Max? Imagine that the farmers are your customers and apply the same definition of marketing. That is an interesting idea. Maybe my job should be to find out what marketing help farmers most need and then to provide that assistance to them. The next day, and Mex is giving his presentation at the Ministry of Agriculture. So I think my work programme can be divided into three phases. In the first phase, I must find out some specific information for myself. I need to learn from farmers what their marketing problems are and their costs of production. I also need to identify the businesses in the area which make up the links in the marketing chain, such as the packaging and transport companies. And most importantly, I need to find out from the market what products they want most, the volumes and timings, how they do business, and what are reasonable prices. When I have gathered all this information, I am ready for the second phase, preparing a plan which will provide the most effective help for the farmers in my area. Then I am ready for the third phase, implementation, or putting my plan into action. To help me, I have prepared a checklist of questions, and I will also need transport to conduct the survey and overnight allowances to stay in the city. Part 2. Information Gathering Information gathering is a vital skill. Next, we'll have to speak to farmers, local businesses, and analyze statistical data. What are you doing, Max? I am planning my information gathering. I will speak to farmers in the important growing areas in my region and make sure to see both large-scale farmers and small-scale farmers up in the hills. I will also meet vegetable and fruit growers and speak to those beside the road and farmers with transport difficulties. I think I will find most of the transport and packaging companies here in my local town. Although there is a small wholesale market here, the most important market for produce in my region is in the city, about half a day's drive away. Part 2. Information Gathering from farmers. In his conversations with farmers, Mex needs to find out the details of which crops they produce, when they are harvested, how they are marketed, and what prices farmers receive. He would also want to find out what the typical costs of production are for the most important crops in his area. I want to ask you some questions about how much money you earned from selling your crops. No, 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 Max. Information gathering is very important, and your first approach must be correct. Firstly, you must introduce yourself. Secondly, you should explain what you are doing and how you might be able to help the farmer. And thirdly, you asked him a very sensitive question about how much he earned before he knew who you were. Go on, Max. Try again. Hello. My name is Max, and I have been appointed Marketing Extension Officer for this region. My job is to help farmers to increase their income by improving the way they market their crops. I'm starting by finding out directly from farmers like yourself what your real problems are. Could you spare me 15 minutes of your valuable time? With his checklist of questions, Mex starts the interview by asking the farmer about his farm, how it started, and what crops he grows. People are generally happy to talk about their business. As their conversation progresses, more sensitive questions can be asked, such as what prices he receives. 
Cost of production data is essential to work out if crops can be sold profitably. Sometimes this information is available from economists in the Ministry of Agriculture. MEX will need to collect all the costs of growing an individual crop on an area of land. This figure can be converted into the unit cost of production for a kilo or box, or whatever is the common unit of sale. 